www.mindar.com In this video, we would be learning about area and perimeter. Many of us get very scared, you know, looking at these area and perimeters, especially in the schools, teacher throw formulae after formulas and we get confused that what is exactly what. Here, each and everything we would be studying in details and we would be taking some real life examples so that our concepts are strong and you would trust me find it as easy as like okay starting from what a perimeter is the terms are big the concepts are small perimeter is nothing but any closed figure you take okay and you walk along the sides and add the sums. Say for example, any figure, say I take any XYZ figure, okay? Say this figure. And I want to calculate the perimeter for the same. How would I do that? Say for example, the side is A or I would say, say 4 centimeter. This was say 5 cm, this was say 6 cm, this was 7, this was 8, this was 3, this was 4 again. Supposedly I want to find the perimeter of this figure. What I will do is simply I will add all these. That's all about perimeter. So the perimeter for the above figure is... Starting from here, 4 cm plus 5 cm plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3 plus 4. And we can calculate the perimeter this way. And at the end, we have to remember to keep the unit that is centimeter. Quote it. Let's as of now consider only those figures which are made up of line segments. Okay. So... You may take the example of a rectangle, a square, a rhombus, anything. The concept would remain the same that you have to add the sides. So now coming back to see a few figures as an example. This is a rectangle, right? Why? Because this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side. So if we consider it as L, this will also be L. If we consider it as B, then this will also be B. So now I want to add these four. To find the perimeter, what I will do is, I would add all the four sides. Simple formula. Sum of the sides. So let me add these up. L plus B plus L plus B. How can I rewrite it as L plus L becomes 2L plus B plus B becomes 2B. Now here if I take 2 common, what will remain? L plus B. That is how your teachers and in the books you find this formula that perimeter of the rectangle can be found by using... 2L plus B, the formula. But the concept is the same that you have to have the sum of all the sides of the figure. Coming down to the next figure, square. We know that square has a property that all its sides will be equal. Now, for say for example, the side of this square is of length A unit. So this will also be A, this will also be A and this will also be A because in a square all the sides are equal. Now perimeter is calculated as sum of all the sides. So what I will do? A plus A plus A plus A. 1, 2, 3, 4 that is 4A. So, perimeter of the square is 4a. In the books and your teacher, 
says the perimeter of a square is 4a and this is how it comes. The concept again remains the same. Sum of all the sides is the perimeter. The figure is closed here. The figure is closed here. It applies to a closed figure. Okay. Now moving on to triangle. See for example, this is side A. Set units. This is B units. This is C units. Okay. It can be 3 cm, 3 cm, 3 cm or it can be 3 cm, this is 4 cm, maybe C is 5 cm. Doesn't matter, the concept remains the same. The perimeter would be the sum of A plus B plus, I know you are sure now, C. So this is how it is. Perimeter is the easiest thing you would study in mensuration. That is you know, the complete thing of area, perimeter. In the next video, we would be studying about surface area of a cylinder, cuboid, sphere and so many things. But perimeter is the simplest. The concept is the same. Sum of all the sides. You have to put a unit. Otherwise, your marks would be reducted in the exams. You have to be very careful about it. Now coming back to the same thing, this was a rectangle as we had seen, okay. Now see, say for example this is 10 cm, so this will also be 10 cm. Say for example L is 5 cm, so here also L would be 5 cm. So this plus this plus this plus this, basically if we will apply it twice L plus B, we can write it as twice. 10 plus 5, 15 into 2 would be 30. The most important thing is centimeters. We have to check before addition whether all the units are same or no. Suppose it, yes. So, we will write the unit centimeter. We will see few in the future that if, say for example, this was 10 meters, 10 meters and this was in centimeters, we would have done a unit conversion. Before we add these, we have to make sure that the units are same. Quantities with the same units, only those we can add. Once again, units have to be the same before we add these. Moving on to square. If A was say 5 cm or I will take it here as meter. So all these are 5 meter, 5 meter, 5 meter. Basically as we had seen it is 4A. So 4 into what is A in this case? 5 which will be 20. And the unit would be meters. Very important. Coming on to this, say for example if A was 5 cm, this was 6 cm, C was say again 6 cm. So perimeter would be 5 plus 6 plus 6, 12 plus 5 becomes 17. But again the unit centimeter. Similarly for parallelogram, we can do it as here and for rhombus, we can do it as here. For perimeter, the perimeter of a square and the rhombus is the same. The perimeter calculation for the triangle and a parallelogram is the same. 